Welcome back, everyone, to East Haven, Connecticut. We are here okay. for the semifinals of the many styles of bowling at NEBA Singles at AMF Circle Lanes. NEBA event number 960, only 40 away from 1,000. It is our first women's series event of the year of four that we'll be holding. Women got $40 off their entry here of their $80 entry. Bruce Hall with you, and we have our all-lefty uh, quartet here for our semifinal. And joining me is venerable like color man Chris okay. Forey. How are you doing, Chris? I'm good. Trying to get Andrew set up there. Is that better, Andrew? Yes. We're good. Yes. Welcome back. No, but he couldn't Andrew, hear. You're only going to hear in one ear, Andrew. You know that. No, he just had a hard time, so I turned it up so he could hear us oh, better. Okay, there you go. And uh, joining us in the booth here... Uh, finalist Andrew Hall. How you doing, Andrew? I think I can figure that out. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing, guys? Sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry to cause some trouble there. Yeah, no problem. So, of, of the three of us, one of us made the finals. So, what did you... Uh, Fortunately. How, how did you do it? Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was a lot of hook today. Um, I was expect. I brought very weak equipment, uh, the strongest ball. The, str the strongest ball that I brought today was a phase two, and I didn't even throw it. Um, I mainly kept my feet right around 25, 26 on the fresh mm -hmm. to start. Um, getting it no farther right of eight down lane with a lot of speed and a lot of projection, or as much as I could projection. Yeah. Um, and you shot 170 over, right? Yeah, some, and some got, around and there. Got a, and got a buy. And yeah, it's good. just finding a way to have your ball be rolly and even off the end of the pattern instead of checking and kind of being haywire off the end of it because the light just volume. That's what Chris was just talking about. Yeah, how, the light volume really exploits release mistakes. Yeah, it was the light volume and also the fact that it was so, f as we were saying, sorry to cut you off, Bruce, it was so flat front to back. There was no taper. The pattern was pretty much 41 feet, 15 to 15 front to back, like no no taper. So you didn't get that ski slope effect where your ball is bleeding energy going down the lane. Right. You know, you got, you, got, you got the hydroplane and jerk, and if you got it right, your ball could stand up and lose energy. So, Guys, before we get no, too no, far into the technicality of this match, let's talk about who's bowling. Rich Strath. The venerable super senior lefty shooting 218 over our second high qualifier and really soft stroking it is up against youngster Jameson Matthew. Jameson looking for his first EBA title. And Rich. The left, the left lane is the one to watch for Jameson with the, with really the amount of really hit he well. has. And here's Jason Cornog. Oh, oh, he got the 7 10 out. And he blows the 7 and the 10 out on the right lane. Jason's up against John Becker, who just won a match against compatriot from from Chicopee, uh, Dennis Bissonnette. And I believe this is the deepest John has ever made it in a, in a final. Great shot. And that's about as deep as we've seen uh, that shot there. Jason, Jason really gets after him, man. He throws yeah. it really good. Jameson throw. I said Jameson. he's come a long way since a couple years ago at Auburn. Yeah. yeah. Much more athletic, longer swing. I <coughs> called him Jason, too, Andrew. Don't feel bad. Oh, Jameson. That's Pardon me. me. That's okay. His mom's going to yell at you guys and not me. She can yell at me now. <laughs> that's okay. And I think what's cool about Cornog is... Uh, if you generally watch Jason Bull, Cornog, he usually uses his purple hammers only um, and very much rolls it really heavy end of end. Now, today, he's taking a PBR, I believe that is, steps, stepping in, and like we're talking about on the right, where you, he's keeping it, feeding it through the oil. Him and Jameson are playing very much the same. And look at that carry. Where they're feeding, it through, the, they're feeding it through the volume of oil to the dry a little <coughs> bit, where you see Becker going more out to the dry. Instantly, who has a lot here? I'm talking about the guys that have hand where Rich is obviously just playing out in the dry more. Jameson throwing a little stronger ball just with the extra speed. Yeah, yep. I'm impressed with the kid's game. Like I said, I'm not going to keep saying it, but he's really come a long, long way. So everybody here has really figured out how to play this 10 to 1 pattern, and it's only 19 mils, guys. But as we said, all the concentration of oil is in the middle and 15 to 15. And so there really is no other place on the lane to play. And the question is, as you said, Chris, it's so uniform front to back. You've got to get out of the pattern just in the right place and oh, get it rolling the right way in order to carry. So there's a Rich triple for Rich Strath matching uh, Jamison Matthews' triple. Rich is able to get his ball through that scratchy section 
Low rub like, rate. Low, yeah. He's a, he's a zone left of everybody else. And, and uh, like zone? I think he's two zones left. Maybe, and it's really helped him so much as far as uh, I mean, how other good guys, his carry is. These other guys are 20, 25 off their hand. His yeah, ball is a 15 off. I, I, I crossed one of them. I was a full zone and a half inside of him and could not get my ball to turn the corner, as you said. You know, So he's just soft-stroking it so nicely. He told me, he said, this is the first time he thinks he's ever might have been left of the center or right of the center ar center dot. He says he felt I feel a for him. little Not nosebleed really. problem, <laughs> you know, so, you know. And, uh, yeah, sorry, he's standing like uh, 21. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what he told me. He said, it's weird over here. I, I didn't know there were boards over here to play. Well, he looks very comfortable. Oh, yeah. That was a great shot. Yeah, it looks great. And Rich is just getting more and more comfortable in, with his game and uh, to see him uh, come along like this, so crushing it. Here's uh, Jason Cornaw. Another slap, seven. Beautiful shot. All these guys lined up very well. We've seen a Which lot of left do you here. like? We're seeing a lot. We've only seen one miss so far in. Uh, Got the smorgasbord out in front of you. 15 and <laughs> 16 shots. We've only seen one non strike so far in this quarterfinal. Semifinal, excuse me. I can't and see that one. Right. They got that out. Comes back. But again, he's feeding it across all the farn oil. Right. To, s to get the ball to have energy so when I get to that spot, it can go. Yeah, that's right. He's, he's probably the deepest of everybody so far. Him and, and I would say Cornog over here, is, he's probably about 25 off his hand. Let's take a look. If only there are a way to get the Mevo to focus on one particular lane. Oh, Chris, you figured it out how to do that. Great and shot. Boom. And, I, and the thing I noticed with Jason today is, I mean, he's getting about some access rotation. What we were talking about, you were saying about rolling it. Yeah. He's actually getting around it pretty good. Where Jameson's more tumbling it a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say the more, the increased speed with the tumbly, I think, lets him throw the stronger ball. Guys, do you think there's a good scoring pace going on here? What do you think? I got you. And here's Becker. The only miss of these guys. Everybody else has the front four. Uh -oh. That's high. That's right. And a Greek church kicks out the 10, but a disaster for Becker. So, not liking Becker's chances to recover here. Against Cornog. Becker talking to Strath about something. I don't know what they're. What they're talking the about is it? Uh, so usually in the finals, they won't pull. Somebody's on that pair. Yeah, they something about two lane courtesy or something pair. like that. I don't know oh, what they're okay. talking about, but most of the time in the finals, uh, what you find guys is they give pair courtesy. So there's no sense in these guys at the same time. But that was just a general question. <coughs> you know, okay. first time guy in the final four, he's just asking if if they're doing two lanes still. I'm like, usually do a, right. the whole pair. So what's our title situation here? I know uh, Jameson is going for his first title. Rich doesn't right? have a title. John, none of these Rich guys. Uh, title. I don't think anyone. Nobody has a title here. Jason. So we have no title holders here. We're going to uh, somebody is going to be a first time title holder. I'm not sure that's ever happened in the. I can't semis. remember since you and I have been uh, doing this. I don't know. That's, that's left. ever happened in the semis. Flat seven. Yeah. Didn't quite. That was where puked getting there. Yeah. 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 Puked is an official. But still, he's able to term. stay in that is spot that? instead. When my ball hits the pins, it pukes a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, so did mine. <laughs> I left some shots later. I said, careers end with a whimper, <laughs> <laughs> not with a bang. You did say that to me. <laughs> and yep. Look yeah. at that ball with hook stop on yeah, Becker. Yeah. And so, so the big difference, I'm sorry to cut you off there, no. is that you have Jameson using, like he said, a strong cover, and you also have uh, Jason Cornog using a strong, the PBR cover is very strong. The core is not overly strong, but very strong cover stock. So you have two guys using stronger covers, and yet Rich looks like he's using more of like a pearl ball, and John Beck Becker also using one. So now when they catch that oil a little bit, it's going to be a little transition difference off the pattern. You know, I mean, obviously Rich is playing more to the left, but. Sorry about that. No, I just love that. That soft hand he's got, I mean, allowing him to that could be two. get it through. Oh, no, it's it. Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn cover it. of the 3-5-6, but Jason Cornock completely in the driver's seat on this uh, match on 41-2. and two. And Rich Strath showing the first chink in the armor against Jamison Matthew. I almost had to look twice at the PBR 
Ch Cornog was throwing it looked like a zero gravity at first. It did. Yeah. <laughs> he thought I was throwing it up over today. He goes, what are you using? I go, that's a electrophysiology. Electrophysiology. <laughs> I thought the same exact thing when I saw Jesse throwing it. Yeah, that ball's good. I like that ball a lot. I mean, I only just drilled it Thursday, but for medium patterns, it's the cover is actually stronger than you would think on that particular ball. And there's a back-to-back -back seven pins for Strath and uh, opening the door for Matthew to take a commanding lead in this match. Get back. And Cornog getting the carry. One of the few guys who can really get it out that far and get it to bounce off the pattern and still carry the corner. Now, like I said, this is the highest I've seen. He usually hooks it pretty good for Purple Hammer, but his rev rate is really high. I mean, he's really banging on it today. Yep. That's what it takes. Strath, no problem with the seven pin, but back to back spares is going to put him. He's already in a 10 pin hole because of the front five for Matthew, and can he extend the lead? Big handful of that one. Look at that, coming back. Great front shot. Front six for Cornog. I had a front six over there the last game. And yes, he did. And uh, going back to talk with his brother Eric after every shot, so. We're obviously strategizing on Eric has a figure this out. Both of them have a very they're very smart about sure you know, talking about bowling. Sure and look at that ripping mixer making toast of that six pin. Oh to be young and have revs. Right, Andrew? Oh to be young and have revs. I'm forty nine. I have I don't know who you're talking I don't know who you're talking about. I'm not talking about me. Certainly couldn't be me. <laughs> All right, Matthew, to take a 32-pin lead here. He's at 22 right now. That's pretty and good too. Pretty good-looking shot. So, so the lane that no doubt that one. So the lane that was tricky and hooked for like uh, Ian Lang. We saw a couple shots last game. He's so much deeper crossing that puddle to get it to push to that spot, but not lofting it over. The no, spot. no, yep, just not. Yeah, he's actually using. Like, like we said, the fronts really didn't hook today, front. so he's yeah. actually yeah. using that oil that they yeah. piled there. Yeah. Where we Becker. see like Becker lofting it a little bit more. Um, we saw Ian Lang really lofting it. Well, Becker is also helping it a little bit. So he's he's really, really going after it hard. Yeah, so. He's more hitting up on it instead of Jameson, who's long and loose through it to help get a ball glide and save energy. Yep. Strath, basically almost a must-strike situation. Down. I'm going to say it is a must-strike. Down 32. And beautiful Good. shot. That was That's a really a good strike. shot. Yeah. Really, really good shot. Look how solid he is at the line. He's for a super senior, pretty good shape. Throwing it pretty nicely. Yeah, great tempo. He's not forcing the ball, so yeah. the post shots. I can't tell you how much he's grown as a bowler. I mean, you know, we never, none of us ever even knew Rich maybe 10 years ago on the scene. And uh, he's come along as a really nice sen super senior player, PBA player. Um, a lot of different venues. And done really well by himself. Give a scored update while he's up there. But he's up against the juggernaut. He is letter A, folks. Jameson Matthew, so 268 possible. Matthew cruising along at a 300. That's going to go a little high. Stay. Oh, it held. And, uh, six, eight, that six was goes. That was uh, the first one he's yanked the whole time. Yeah, a little bit of a squeeze, but uh, trouble now for Rich. Corner banging on the bottom of that, just yeah. going after it. And yeah. he can just absolutely send it left quick. Wow. Yep. Well, get stronger coverage so he can so he can get it get it to push and then go. It's crazy. I'm so used to seeing Jason being a little softer with it at the bottom, shaping it a little bit more than this. This is the hardest I think I've ever seen him throw it. Actually, so this is pretty impressive. So I'm guessing I'm not sure much about bowling, but I'm going to guess the two guys with the front seven are going to be in the finals. What do you think? I'm just I just would pick the one guy guessing. with the front seven. I've still not 
They're still still not convinced. Still got a couple frames to go with the other mm, one. That's true, but uh, I mean, he's down, now he's down to 48. So now he would need three three non-strikes. Yeah. Uh, this one I'm going to say is over on lanes 41 and 42 because that's another strike. That's another yeah. strike <laughs> front. As eight. I didn't show it. Sorry about that, folks. Have we ever had our two semifinalists shoot 300? No. Never. 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 I'm not well. sure we've ever seen a 300 in the semis. Imagine if we had back-to-back, -back and then the guys now go into the finals. Now that would be a story. We did have a 300 semifinals here two oh, times oops. ago. That's right. There's the first and one we talked about. And it stayed on the beak for a two-pin. And now can the 250 come into play? See, the trouble is he's already a 259. Yeah, but I'm saying if he doesn't he strike the next the three. Next yes, that's true. He'll lose count, and Strath will be able to catch up. That's true. So Matthew will need another double if he wants to lock this up. No Got to spare. No problem on the two pin. Back fill frames. And uh, Becker basically is done. He's 224. That, that match is definitely over. And Kornog is cruising it already at 260. So and looking at 300. So very nice day by John Becker. Very. Uh, very nice showing. Like to thank everybody for tuning in. If you can share the feed, we'll get our viewership up. We're at Circle right, Lanes in East Haven. That's and enough. That's that enough. Do it. That's a good shot there. Rock solid. Well, let's put it this way. If Rich strikes out, he forces him to mark. Wrong. He forces him to fill 20. Why, well, he fills him to mark it? Well, so no, he's just, just fill marking 20. one. Oh, he's got to fill 20. 30, 50. Oh, he can go 248. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's at 240. Yeah, I'm sorry. So now will Cornog shoot 300? No. Oh, oh trips trips it trips six. Oh, <laughs> we thought it was high. First one, no. I guess it could. Then it was like, no good. Then it was do good. it, yeah. Now, do you remember uh, who shot 300 here? Uh, no, I can tell you already. Semifinals, no. but didn't win the tournament. Coco won. Do you remember? We were broadcasting it. I think we were, but I still no, don't no, remember. No, no, you weren't. It was me and Andrew and AJ. No, I don't think it was me. 300? You remember who, who shot it? 300 in the semis? It was like two tournaments ago here. Two lefties were made the final match, but the one lefty didn't win the tournament to shot the 300. That was all Kormog, back. Kormog, why am I, why am I spacing? Ten. Jeremy Melito. There you go. Correct. There it is. Of course you're correct. Of course, of course <laughs> he's correct. He's got an identic memory, I swear. Then got to the title match and Coco ran him over. Yeah. And Strath basically bowling it out here at 230. So it will be Jameson, Matthew, and Jason no, Kornog. Over, yep. and we're both these guys going focus for here on first uh, titles. Focus here on Kornog the whole 10th frame we'll here. And we'll watch Kornog try to close out this 300. We'll move our camera over to 43 and 4 and tune back in for the final. Big Just handful. Big handful. Dead flush. Beautiful shot. And there's front 11. Ken, Jason, Kornog knock off the 300 in the semifinals. Should we, tell him to, should we tell him to get 8 or 9 so he doesn't have the Melito curse? I was Maybe. thinking that. <laughs> Somebody smart once, Mike Diaz, I think, told me, he said, you can always, it's good to bowl a guy who just bowled a big game. It usually is. Because yeah. yeah. you can, uh, it's usually not going to happen again. Adrenaline changes. Yeah. Hard to keep that emotion. All Yes, all that. So, Rich Strath, great day. He'll finish top four. And uh, Don Harrington hanging around to, to root him on. And uh, two of my good buddies. And uh, really nice to see those guys both bowl well today, so. And That's three. Pretty good. Oh, my friend Don. Bang. Give him the 300. There's Jason Kornog with 300. Congratulations. Stay calm, my friend. This you guys have another game climbing a mountain. Climbing a mountain. Putting the post in for Put 300. Putting the post in. Yeah, baby. Well, there's the animation. Put the flag. And uh, our executive the producer flag. focusing in on the animation. Thank you very much there, Chris. Great job with the camera work. And uh, Strath. We'll close it out for the for the three pin, and uh, Matthew can shoot two seventy nine. 
which would mean 579 for our two semifinals and mixes it up for the 510 and there is 279 still alive they weren't checking gonna. in on the Niners game. Ten they minutes, weren't going to run the play. Ten minutes left in the game. And they were fourth and two. 49ers trying to draw yeah, the Rams offside. Couldn't do it. No they're chance he was running uh, that play. They're going to punt it now, or are they going to try for the field goal? Wish I knew more. You wish you knew more? I don't know why they didn't run it. Um, well, because they're fourth down. They didn't want to get it. Well, they're at the 45. So. If they don't get it, they give them a short field. They've been playing good defense, obviously. Gotcha, gotcha. They're trying to draw the other guys offside and make a penalty and get a first down. So, so yeah, you there hope you somebody <coughs> jumps and then you touch them. And then, so now they've got to punt it. They can pin them with inside the 10. They should be able to pin them inside the 10. All right, guys. That's a good punt here. Very nice day by John Becker. Nice day by Rich Strath. So We're going to uh, sign off here as soon as Jameson makes this shot. And we will be right back with a new camera position over on 43 and 4 to see who's going to win their first title. And there's a bucket for the unlikely 275. Okay, folks, we will be right back in about five minutes. <laughs>